Trick Williams wins the championship. Julia doesn't win a championship. CM Punk wearing Shawn Michaels short shorts. So much to unpack here. Welcome to Tank Count Media. I'm Steve. Let's talk about NXT, the first episode on the CW. Already off the bat, let's start from aesthetics. We see the intro. New song. Looking pretty fresh. Looking pretty new. And it shows you, even in the intro, these wrestlers that are looked at as you know the, the third brand, the farm league of the WWE, they all look like stars in this video package. So that's a good way to start. And then earlier in the day, we were teased by WrestleVotes that there was going to be a new NXT logo. A gray logo, black and gray, was sent, or I guess silver, was sent, and the world went crazy. And yes, now on WWE's Twitter account, Run for NXT, has the new logo on it. It's fresh, it's new, it's different. And I think that is what that brand, because everyone always talks about the black and gold, the black and gold. Well, now it's the black and silver. And I think that's pretty cool. It looks pretty badass, too. It looks pretty badass. In seeing NXT, a regular Tuesday night, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, seeing it with a huge audience, gigantic crowd, they are pumped up there to support NXT, the brand itself. Listen, I've asked, I think every single time I've had an opportunity to interview an NXT wrestler, I always ask, do you think NXT can leave the Performance Center full sale go on the road weekly for their shows. Each one of them, of course, always says yes. From Trick Williams to Carmelo Hayes to Wesley to when Tiffany Stratton was there. All of them. And they all said, of course. And this really proves it. I know this whole card felt like a PLE. It had huge high stakes. Had storylines built up for weeks, sometimes months. So yeah. This event did feel special. So I guess after even next week when they're in St. Louis, when we have tag team titles on the line with Grayson Waller and Austin Theory, we have Randy Orton taking on Javon Evans. Like, there's some high stakes next week too. So I wonder if once the Performance Center is done with its revamp, because that's according to Booker T's podcast, talking about how currently – where NXT was being filmed, the entire place has been gutted, it's being redesigned. So obviously there's plans to go back there. But I really wish that we could see NXT try. I know it'd be sad to see them fail because right now you're selling out Raws and Smackdowns, but if you are advertising people like Randy Orton or Grayson Waller or Austin Theory weekly on your show, like this week we had CM Punk. If you did that, Honestly, I think going on the road is a possibility, 100%. 100%. But moving on, let's talk about the show. Very exciting stuff. New NXT champion, Trick Williams, two-time champion. But this match did feel a little rushed to me. I feel like all night long, all the matches were maybe going over, you know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. That adds up over segment after segment after segment, you get to the main event, and I don't feel like it had enough time. Like It could have gone, though, 30, 40 minutes, but it's the first night. You don't want to tire people out with a long match. I get it. But Ethan Page bumping into CM Punk, allowing Trick Williams kind of get the win there, and obviously it seemed like what a great idea, though. Hey, it's the first night on CW. What should we do? Oh, it'd be awesome if everyone went home happy and Trick Williams is your champion. I'm happy he's champion. Let's see where Ethan Page goes from here, though. Is it going to be Raw, SmackDown, stay there, NXT? I don't know. I don't know. Because who is who is going to be the next opponent for Trick Williams? We have Halloween Havoc coming up. And then you have the December pay-per-view. I think it's Road... No. Not Road Rage. Roadblock. 
Is it Roblox? It's one of those weird WWE PLE names that they gave up on and just gave it to NXT, and I can't remember the name of it right now. But either way, the funniest thing, though, is after NXT went off the air, CM Punk apparently bought everybody in the arena pizza. That is what has happened here, folks. Go back to CM Punk buying everyone ice cream bars and Nike came out <laughs> in AEW after being gone from wrestling for so long. And now, apparently, at a show he's not even wrestling at, he just loves NXT. He wants to be Shawn Michaels, and that's awesome. And he bought everybody pizza on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, and Twitter. It's been reported that people, yes, this is true. Multiple people have the pizzas saying that CM Punk bought every single person pizza in the arena, and that's pretty badass. Like, you're never going to forget that. What a core memory. You know, you've got, oh, I went to a Royal Rumble, I went to Survivor Series, but I also went to the first night NXT was on the CW in an amazing, huge arena in Chicago with CM Punk there. Oh, and by the way, CM Punk bought me pizza. What? What? Who can say that? You can all, anyone can say, oh, I saw a really great match between two great wrestlers or a ladder match, whatever. But you can never say, that CM Punk bought me pizza. I cannot say that. It's a sad day. Sad day. Either way, it's just hilarious that happened. The first match, though, was Julia versus Roxanne Perez. Women's Championship on the line. And new championship designs were presented off the top with Triple H and Shawn Michaels saying, Are you ready? Are you? I was ready, dude. I was pumped up. NXT, to me, always been like in and out sometimes. But I was like, nope, committing. This is going to be so damn friggin' good. And it was. This match was fun, too. And the minute, though, Julie was attacked outside, it was revealed it was Cora Jade. Cora Jade is back. I was like, oh, shit. The internet is not going to like this. Because technically, Julia's first match on television on a big old PLE like this event, you know, we had Chelsea Green, of course. but on a huge, huge kind of marquee, all a spotlight on you. You lost to Cora Jade. I mean, Cora Jade attacks you. Roxanne Perez picks up the win. I'm fine with this. Like, it hurts, hurts nobody. Now, Julia has a storyline with Roxanne Perez and Cora Jade because Cora Jade attacked Julia. And now Cora Jade and Roxanne Perez now want to kind of work together. Dude, this is the best thing for everybody. Everybody involved. No complaints here. No complaints here. And I'll tell you what. Holy shit. Zachary Wentz and Wesley killed each other for our entertainment. And the, the big moment is, you probably saw it if you watched it. Wentz gets bounced off the top rope. He's supposed to land through a table on the outside. He misses it because he gets such a big bounce. Flies over it and smashes his back on the ground. Holy Crap, that looked painful. And a swanton bomb with a person inside a trash can. Do you know? <laughs> it's a good story. And I'm just so happy to see uh, Zachary here again because he was here. And then controversy happened with him. And then he left and then back in TNA. And TNA and NXT worked together again. So it's very cool to see that TNA is allowing all this stuff to happen. Because it's well deserved, you know. It, 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 it was a fun night, you know. It was a fun night to see matches and championships change hands. And plus, Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill show up in NXT, teasing next week they're gonna be in the St. Louis CW NXT episode. Like seriously, like, we we got everything we wanted here tonight. There's no complaints on my end. Triple H and Shawn Michaels kick off the night. Women's match kicks ass. A street fight where two men beat their good out of each other. Miss TV. Mm, I could have been. I don't really need that. Nothing against the Miz. Nothing against anybody, but. Mm, yeah. And Jada Parker showing their true colors. Turning on Lola Vice. Oh, Jada, I think that's going to bite you in the ass. I think so. But it was a great night, and maybe CM Punk and Ethan Page are going to have a storyline. But right now, the people in Chicago have their bellies full of pizza. So thanks for tuning in to me talking about NXT. 
Have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.